either as a minister, vice president, prime minister, and the parliament has made a resolution, you are subjected to it. If you do not obey it, you get out. It is as simple as that. <laughs> the matter before this committee of rules, discipline and privileges is whether Prime Minister John Patrick Amama Mbabazi and Internal Affairs Minister Hilary Onek are in contempt of Parliament, as suggested by a motion moved by Queen MP Chemasweti Kisoso two weeks ago. Retired Supreme Court Judge George Kanyahamba was invited to give legal counsel on this matter that has pitted the legislature against the executive of allegations of bribery in the old sector. Any member of parliament who disobeys that resolution or who acts contrary to it is in contempt of parliament. Kanyahamba, a professor of law and highly respected legal brain, also scoffed at Attorney General Peter Nyombi's submission yesterday that the Prime Minister and the ministers are not subjected to parliamentary resolutions. The act of removing them from office may be the president, but parliament has the power, as I speak now, today, to say to any member, get out, and you must immediately get out. Whether you remain there performing your duties in your office or uh, in a hall somewhere, that may be a matter between you and the president. A former attorney general and justice minister in the NRM government, Kanyahamba also said it was wrong for Peter Nyombi to fault the Speaker of Parliament for accepting documents, which Nyombi said were questionable. The documents claiming that Mbabazi and Minister Onek took bribes from oil companies were presented on the floor of parliament by Western Youth MP Gerard Karuhanga. Forgery is not proved by a statement of anybody, however eminent they are in the country. It is forged by scientific evidence. The embattled ministers protested their innocence while appearing before this committee and urged that the documents implicating them were fake. On this matter where Nyombi agreed with the ministers, Professor Kanyahamba was less than impressed as well. I would say, Mr. Attorney General, some of the statements you made seem to be not well researched and they seem to be partisan. As a law officer, you owe this country a duty to interpret the law properly. He also had some advice for lawmakers of the Ninth Parliament. I was convinced by a resolution made by the whole judgment, uh, the, the, uh, the whole parliament. I go to a party meeting and they say, you are wrong, you are wrong. I come here and I say, I have changed my mind. I have got other evidence. What kind of an MP am I? Are you an MP or simply an instrument to be used? The committee will based on this submission is to make a final report that will be debated by parliament next week. What the public has to wait for is whether the lawmakers have the power to throw the two ministers out of parliament. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Parliament.